We always pray before a game, so I'm always thinking about him and like his memory and like how hard he pushed me and where he wanted me to go. Keeping his memory alive and like talking about him, like talking about everything like that he loved and everything, I feel like that keeps uh, his memory alive as well. This feature is presented by Fisher's Neighborhood Market, a proud supporter of all area athletics located in San Antonio and across the Hill Country. And by Hill Country Pool Management, where every splash is a Hill Country memory. Call 210-848-8516 or visit them at www.hillcountrypoolmanagement.com. Prostate cancer is the most common form of cancer found in men. One in eight men will be diagnosed with it in their lifetime, and more than 35,000 men die from it annually. It's just as devastating to a man as ovarian or breast cancer is to a woman. Bernie Champion volleyball player Ella Coleman knows all this too well. Three years ago, she lost her father to prostate cancer just as she was beginning her high school volleyball career. I had a chance to go out to Bernie and catch up with Coleman to talk about her experiences with it, dealing with her dad in the last few days before he passed, and how she plays in his memory. How do you keep his legacy and, and his memory in with every match you play? Yeah, um, you know, we always pray before a game, so I'm always thinking about him and like his memory and like how hard he pushed me and where he wanted me to go. So I think that was a big key. And, um, you know, just like keep like keeping his memory alive and like talking about him, like talking about everything like that he loved and everything. I feel like that keeps uh, his memory alive as well. Prostate cancer is something that not a lot of people know about. We know breast cancer gets so much attention, which it should, but when your dad was diagnosed with it, I mean, what did you have to learn about it? And I guess, how did you handle it as he was, as he was battling? Um, so, uh, at first we didn't know. Uh, it was like, it was this crazy, like, huge, like, process of like him figuring everything out. Um, but when we did know, you know, it's, it's hard. It's definitely, it definitely makes you a stronger person in the end. Um, but I just have to keep reminding myself that like he's in a better place now and he's not in pain anymore. So, and I feel like just keeping his memory alive like that. What were things that y'all were doing while he was bat while he was battling? When he felt like it, we would always try to go traveling and just try to do like as much as he wanted to. Um, he really loved fishing and just like being out on the water. So we tried to do that as much as possible. And then um, it was not as hard, I guess, in the sense that we could like see, like we knew that it was coming to an end, like like we knew he was going to pass soon. So I feel like just seeing him like slowly change and like kind of like deteriorate throughout the years like that's just kind of like how we kind of knew and we were able to prepare for that more. How were you able to spend the final weeks, months, moments with him uh, knowing that he, knowing that it was it was not gonna, you know what I mean? Yes I do. Um, you know I tried to spend as much time with him as possible um, honestly with volleyball and school it was kind of difficult especially at the time like with high school season, like we're having to work out every day at the time. Um, so just trying to like prioritize time with him and volleyball and school, like it was it was stressful, but at the same time, like it's making me a better person all in the end. How do you, how does it make you a better person? With the absence of a dad in your life, it just teaches you many more values that you would think wouldn't. So like, just like learning to like respect yourself and stick to your own ways and um, just like, keep your self image to yourself and like knowing that that's where he wanted you and not like what everyone else wants you. When he passed, I mean, what, what were you doing to try to not, not forget about it or distract from it, but I mean, just how, how did you cope with it? He passed in our household. So we were able to spend as much time with him as possible. And just like, we were able to like tell him, hold his hand. And we were just able to tell him like, you're okay. You're good. Like if you need to go, you can go. Um, uh, it was definitely hard for me personally. I didn't have the best relationship with my dad, so it was harder for me to kind of accept that. But I go and look back on everything, and um, I am 100% like I would have done the same thing I would have done. 
it, it may be weird to say that it's kind of a gift when you know when your parents going to pass because I had that as well. But it gave you a chance to close things up or, or, or sew everything up versus if you had gotten a random call that he had died suddenly. So how was that gift being able to get everything, uh, being able a closure? I don't know, maybe the closest word I could find. Yeah, it helps with like just having that closure and like knowing that like he's in a better place now and like every like he's everything in heaven's perfect and like just knowing that like. He's like okay and he's doing good and he's not in pain anymore. Like I feel like that really just helped with everything. They say sports is the greatest distraction from, from real life. Obviously you have it with volleyball. How does volleyball help at least be able to divert your mind for at least a couple of hours when you're out playing a match and you're thinking about winning points instead of uh, thinking about your dad? Yeah, um, honestly, it's definitely like exactly what you said, like definitely a distraction. Um, actually, went on the night that he passed. I was coming back from a game, so I had that distraction. And then on the on the day of his funeral, I went to the funeral, and then I went to my high school game after. So, definitely, sports has definitely been a major factor in um, helping me cope in grief. How do you go through your senior year? Because you're gonna have one more chance to try to get champion back to the playoffs. You'll you'll graduate. You'll have the the senior moments that everybody does and. Uh, I, I guess how do you kind of handle it and get that get that support? Yeah, um, you know I know my whole team's behind me and I know they all support me through everything. So they're like the main people and my coaches as well. Like the whole program is all supportive of each other. So I feel like that's a major factor in like helping me um, understand that I have people behind me that I can trust. And um, yeah, and I think we all have like a big mindset. I feel like it all helps when we all have this big mindset of wanting to go as far as we can, and we all have the overall end goal of going to playoffs. So I feel like that helps a lot too. You're not alone as far as uh, kids who lose a parent at at a, at a young age. How do you help others? Because there's probably a lot of other kids your age or even adults that aren't able to aren't able to handle it or able to grieve. Yeah, for sure. Uh, you know, I for me personally, I'm a very like selfless person. I love like. I love helping people with their issues, so I honestly feel like, for me, when I was going through it, like, understanding that I'm not alone in this and that there are other people going through it as well, or just, or even more difficult things, like, I feel like that, like, is my biggest thing with what I've been through. I feel like I just want to, like, go out and help everyone who um, has lost their parent or is going through worse. Like, I just want to, like, give back to whoever. Reporting from Bernie, I am Mr. Bowtie. Hey folks, Mr. Bowtie here. Keep banging home that subscribe button on your screen so that way you can stay up to date on all the great local sports coverage not found on TV or in a cheap web stream. And don't forget to hit me up on Twitter at Mr. Bowtie1982. It's fast, it's free, and you're going to make my dogs think I'm the best person in the world. Thank you so much and enjoy the show.